Um, the name of the song is of Jesus, Israel Holton. This one is kind of old, but it's still good, girl, right? Good morning, Facebook. I need y'all to get a little bit of the praise in. Good morning. In Come on, y'all. Pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom. Y'all singing? Y'all better be singing up in here. Come on now. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, the kingdom that cannot be shaken. The enemies defeated. Shout it Lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. And we will shout it out. Shout it out, y'all. Hey, Facebook, let's do it, y'all. We pushing back the darkness. Come on now. Good morning. Hey, ladies, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And we will shout it out, shout it out. Get y'all praise on this morning. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And we will shout it out, shout it out. Okay, y'all know singing is not my gift, but that's all right. I'm going to sing it to the Lord. I'm just praying. I'm just saying. Because Jesus is an awesome what? Push back the darkness, y'all. Like, for real, for real. So I got to give you guys, like, some, some, some situation, right? Yep. So yesterday we started talking, and I was giving you guys a testimony yesterday about how this time last year, how I was stressed out. I was having issues with sleeping. I had issues with being able to really, really um, comprehend. And what was really interesting that, you know, God gave me some insight last night. Um, and he and it was just really interesting so you go through levels and different circumstances of your faith walk for those of you who are walking out your faith walk and this is your first time really walking out faith you know i had i was having a conversation this morning with my husband about being in a place that you've never been before right and i grew up in the church y'all don't get it don't get it get me wrong but you, this is one of those reasons why you can tell that even growing up in the church doesn't mean that you have a true relationship with christ and so so and, and another reason why i can say that it is um many of us who label and put the tag of christian on our shoulder on our name tag we say we are christians but we are not doing the things of Christ. Hear me, y'all, hear me. Many of us know we have confessed Christ as our Lord, but we are not operating in the place of Christ's dumb. We're not doing the things that Christ would have us to do that will recognize, that will give us the, the, the recognition. So let me give you guys an example. So for me, I can put on my sorority colors and people will automatically know what sorority that I am attached to. The colors that are associated when I put my sorority colors on, right? They will immediately start to ask, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you? Because I have on those sorority colors. And so there should be things in our character there should be things in our speech there should be things in our attire there should be things in our character there should be things in how we engage with people that people would say are you are you christian are you are you do you believe god and when you get into a space where you don't have to say you're a christian but your your life represent christ likeness right it becomes something that is totally absolutely phenomenal and so why am i in this morning and i early early this morning and i was telling him that you know i'm in a space that i've never been before with christ and trusting him now i've trusted god i've prayed to god 
I've asked him to do things and I've, I've seen rewards. But what I realized when I started to consider last year this time when I was stressed, last year this time when I wasn't sleeping well, last year when I was literally having to fall on my face every morning because I would wake my wake up and open my eyes and immediately, not, like not over a period of time, but immediately I was attacked with, with, with thoughts of failure or thoughts of you're not going to make it, thoughts of you, know, you don't have enough, thoughts of all of these different things that would show up that, you know, it, it, I, I'm in a different place. And I can say that I've not really been in this place before. But I've been a Christian, I believe, all my life almost. I've never been in this place of trust before. And so the question becomes, do you trust him? And, and, and it made me realize that last night. Last night, I got a call about something and about the very, you know, about, about the finances of going into this retreat. And I know what the call was supposed to do. I know the call was supposed to send me in a panic or it was supposed to send me, you know how you get those phone calls? And phone calls that just totally change your entire day and it changes your entire week. I know y'all done had some of them calls. Y'all done had phone calls that you just like, man, or you done had somebody stop by your desk at work and that just changed. You were doing so good. You were doing so well. And then all of a sudden you got this phone call or this person showed up and they said something and it changed everything. Your entire day was totally messed up because of what goes on. Well, I had one of those calls last night and I'm so thankful that I trust God. At I'm so thankful that I trust him at a new level. I was like, I don't care what they saying. I don't care what is being done. Jesus is Lord and be all right. And I can remember this time last year getting those same kind of phone calls, getting those same kind of updates, getting those same kind of instructions and stuff that was going on that wasn't lining up with what I believe. And I started to figure out, I tried to start figuring out how can I fix it? Have y'all ever gotten in the spirit of how, how you gonna fix it? How do I fix it? And so I remember God showing me, you remember last year, you was trying to figure out how you're going to fix it, who you can call to get to help you, who you can talk to to get to help you, who can you get to do X, Y, and Z. You started to become the Holy Spirit. And this time I was like, I don't know how to do it, but Jesus is Lord. And I'm going to sleep good. I'm going to sleep real good. Now, don't get me wrong. The thought of stress knocked at the door. The, start, the, the, the thought of worry knocked at the door the thought of will it work out knocked at the door but the question is do you answer are you answering the door of stress are you answering the door of worry are you answering the door of care or are you laying your care and your thoughts and the concerns on the altar of christ are you and so i want you guys to be encouraged today be encouraged. You've got to trust God like not before, right? And I can promise you guys I'm in a place this round where I'm trusting him like I've never trusted before because I've always had a plan B. Y'all know what some plan Bs look like, right? You know, that's what God for the first time. When God first gave me a vision and told me to do something, I was like, well, I'll do it, Jesus, but I always got my education. I can always fall back on my education. That was that was always the response and the first thing that God I had a plan B and I need you guys that there should not be a plan B God should be the only plan God should be the only plan and so I want us to get into our confession this morning I am declaring that 2019 is the year of the harvest are y'all sowing y'all seed so guess what God says in Matthew 9 37 through 38 he said the harvest is plentiful. The harvest, huh? Y'all better hear me. The harvest is plentiful. The harvest, there's plenty. Most people think, well, uh-uh, them people making all that money. Them people got all them members. Them people got all of that and, and they ain't leaving nothing for nobody else. Uh-uh-uh. The Lord said the harvest is plentiful 
but the workers are few. So we are workers in Christ. We are workers in our job. We're workers in our business. We're workers in the kingdom. We are workers. Are you putting in the work? Are you doing what it requires in order to get the harvest? And so it's like, you got to know, you got to do your part. There is a part that you play, right? And so on this Giving Tuesday, on this Giving Tuesday, on this day that we declare 2019 is the year of the harvest, are you going to be able to receive the harvest? I want you to be able to receive the harvest. I want you to be able to receive the harvest. And so this morning, outside of our normal, because it is Giving Tuesday, we are going to declare the word of God over our sowing and our reaping of a harvest. We're going to sow and we're going to reap. We're going to declare sowing and reaping. Yeah, I think I'm going to be going through over our entire life for some time now. just want y'all to be aware of that. So we're going to declare God's word. There are so many scriptures so many scriptures that God talks about sowing and reaping, reaping a harvest. And we're going to declare them today. Y'all ready? Let's declare the word of God. Y'all ready? Let's declare the word of God. Y'all ready? Let's declare the word of God. Don't hang up right afterwards, y'all. I got something I want to say to you guys. It is very important. Please don't hang up. Don't just come eat at the table and then run out. No, don't just come eat and run. Stay and listen to the put for the benefit benediction <laughs> stay and listen for the blessing afterwards right okay y'all let's do it repeat after me for those of you who are new you may not have been on here before and you like what in the world is going on for those of you who are new the way this works is i'll give you the confession and you repeat after me we confess god's word because we believe his word we believe his word we believe his word declaring that the year of the harvest is upon us. We are going to receive a harvest. We are going to be who God called us to be. Let's do it. Repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am in covenant with God. I declare I have the peace of God. I am whole. I am whole. I am complete. And I have harvest in every area of my life. I declare that there is nothing missing, broken in my life. I declare that there is nothing missing, nothing broken in my life. Yes, I am repeating it, y'all, so repeat after me. It's on purpose. Repeat. I am empowered by God to succeed in everything I put my hands to do. Thank you, Lord, that your harvest is plenty and I receive from the plenty. I declare Galatians 6 and 7 over my life. I am a sower, therefore I shall reap a mighty harvest. Thank you, Lord, for your word in 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 9. That because I've sown bountifully, I shall reap a bountiful harvest. I declare your word, Father, in Luke 6 and 38, that as I give, it will produce a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men women give unto my bosom. Thank you, Lord, that I declare your word for my life. I thank you, Father, that Malachi 3 and 10 says that I shall bring my financial tithe to the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And he says he shall prove that he shall give me blessings over above harvest, Lord. I thank you, Father, for Galatians 6 and 6, that I shall be taught of the Lord and that the communication, the words out of my mouth, shall be good, shall bring forth 
a plentiful harvest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that today, Proverbs 28 and, 28 and 20 will flow in my life. A faithful man, I am a faithful woman, shall abound in blessings that will make it rich and add no sorrow. Thank you, Lord, that I have bounty, plenty of harvest because of your word. Thank you, Lord, for your word that as I sow, I shall also reap. I declare today I will sow in every area of my life. I will sow love. I will sow faithfulness. I will sow honor. I will sow integrity. I will sow forgiveness. I will sow according to your word, Father. I will sow friendship. I will sow finances because I shall reap a plentiful harvest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you today. I, 2019 will be a year of harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare it is so, and I expect nothing less, Father, than your very best. I expect nothing less, Father, than your very best in Jesus' mighty name. We declare it. We speak it. We believe it, and it is so. Amen. All right, y'all. I am, like, excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. So today, 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 we are talking about our 2019 year of harvest, and our harvest is coming, y'all. Make sure you have seed in the ground. For those of you who have not done so yet, those of you who have not done so yet, um, I am asking that each and every one of you give a minimum of five dollars, a minimum of five dollars into the white tribe. If you have been blessed, listen, if you blessed, if you have been strengthened, if you have been prayed for, if you have been um, um, helped in any fashion, I'm asking that you all so give that we can continue to do what it is that we do. Even for those of you who have not or don't have to give, copy and paste the link that I provided into your Facebook page if you can. Copy and paste it and, get, and, and post it on your page. Give by sharing it. Give by sharing it. Give by sharing it. Help support us throughout today. Today is Giving Tuesday. Tuesday, and so as you give, you will help us to continue to do the work that we do. So continue to do so. I thank you all. Let the harvest be plentiful in your life. Let it be plenty. Make sure the harvest is there. You guys, please do what you can. Give what you can. I really appreciate it. Um, share it. I really would appreciate it. We um, are over halfway at the over the halfway mark of what my commitment was. And so let's rock it out, y'all. Let's rock it out. I appreciate you all. I appreciate each and every one of your gifts. Guess what? It is good ground, y'all. It, it really is. It's helping us to do the things that we do in this land. I thank y'all. Oh, and last thing. I'll be traveling tomorrow morning at 8.30. <laughs> so I won't be able to do our confession tomorrow morning at 8.30. I may get up a little bit earlier be up a little bit earlier but for those of you who are on the west coast you might be still asleep but i may try to come on um probably at 7 a.m eastern time um, to do the confession and for our west coast people you guys just do the replay tomorrow but i'm gonna try to get on in the early early before we um actually leave out to head to the airport tomorrow i love you all we are getting ready you guys pray for traveling mercies and grace over all of those all of the leaders that are traveling there is a lot of us that are traveling to phoenix arizona 
and we are um, pray for traveling mercies, pray for their families, pray for that their kids are that everybody is okay while mom and possibly dad is away at this retreat this weekend okay um the first group of us are leaving out tomorrow and so i want to make sure that we are doing all we can um, to keep them covered in prayer um, i'm praying for everyone who's traveling i'm praying for y'all anyway but just know i love you all um i appreciate you all and thank you so much for all that you all give and support. I appreciate it. Have an awesome rest of your Tuesday. I'm going to be over here dancing, y'all. Just FYI, I'm dancing because the enemy would love for me to, to cave in, give up, and quit. But I'm dancing all the way to the finish line, y'all. I'm like dancing. Actually, I'm dancing after the finish line. I'm not kidding. I am not going to be in the same place. Next year this time, guess what? I'm going to be dancing. I'll be giving y'all the testimony of how last year was the first year that I was not stressed and tripping and I was able to sleep and I was able to wake up. It is something, y'all, to be able to wake up and not be attacked in my mind. It is something. You only understand that if you've ever been attacked in your mind. If you've never had the attack in your thoughts, it is something about being attacked in your thoughts. Unfortunately, what many people who are attacked in their Many of them commit suicide. And I just thank God that that is the space that I'm in. And, and so I just want you guys to know thought life is so, so imperative. It's so imperative. And so be very, very mindful about people who tell you that they are battling in their thoughts because that is exactly where the enemy wants them to be. And the enemy will attack them consistently long enough in their thoughts that they will think that suicide is the option. And so I'm just thankful that that's not the space that I'm in. And I'm praying for those. So I, I totally connect to the people who uh, let me know that they're battling in their thoughts because I know what battle it destroys kills it destroys and it kills and so i just want you all to, to 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 be mindful of that and i just i'm just thankful so i'm looking forward to next year saying huh, last year was my first year where i was waking up finally where i wasn't battling in my thought life i i you know it is a different place to be in y'all i promise you it's such a different place i'll wake up and i'm thinking man i'm not battling in my thought life it is a different place to be in and i'm just thankful that that's the space that I am walking in today because I wasn't there this time last year. I just wasn't. I, I was fighting. I was using over and over and over again. And I had to consistently have just, it was just, it was work. It was work. And so I'm just thankful for it. Um, I love you all. Have a blessed one. And I'll chat with you all later. Bye y'all.